As believers, we are not without protection. God is our shield and buckler. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. The enemies will surely gather, but because God has not approved that gathering, they shall surely be scattered. All you have to do is to pray and have faith. Pray the Lord's prayer that says, Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Proverbs 16 verse 7 says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to beat at peace with him. Yes, all we need to do is to please God, and our enemies are nothing. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, and there is no adversary or disaster. God will give you rest on every side. There shall be no adversary or disaster in Jesus' name. God's word promises us in Psalms 23 verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Your enemies can try to devise their evil plan, but their plans will be thwarted. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. God will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. What this means is that your enemies will see you progressing, but they cannot stop it. The Bible says before the children of Israel possessed the land of Canaan, they wandered from one nation to another nation and from one kingdom to another kingdom. God didn't allow anyone to oppress them. God rebuked stubborn enemies for their sake. God gave a decree, Do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Psalms 105 verse 15 you are the anointed of God, and God will not allow anyone to touch you. God will make you to dwell in safety. Jeremiah 32 verse 38 to 41 says, They shall be my people, and I will be their God. Then I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, I will never stop doing good for them. I will put a desire in their hearts to worship me, and they will never leave me. I will rejoice in doing them good, and will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and soul. These are God's promises concerning your life. God will do you good all the days of your life. God will never stop doing good for you. God will put a desire in your heart to worship Him. God will rejoice in doing good to you. God is watching over your life and the enemy cannot steal or destroy what God has for you. He abhors the schemes of conniving crooks so that none of their plots come to turn. He catches the know-it-alls in their conspiracies. All that intricate intrigue swept out with the trash. Suddenly they are disoriented, plunge into darkness, they can't see to put one foot in front of the other. God is fighting your battles for you. You have to put your confidence in God. Pray without ceasing. Commit everything about your life to God in prayer. Free yourself from every anxiety and let your request be known unto God. Prayer brings peace that surpasses all understanding. A resilient devil can only be overpowered by a full-time prayer warrior. We have a powerful God with us. The Lord is a man of war. He fights for us even when we don't know that we are in a battle. You will be protected from vicious gossip and live fearless through any catastrophe. The prophet Isaiah said, Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Speak the word but it will not stand, for God is with us. Isaiah 8 verse 10 Everything they say will not stand because God is with you. And if God be with us, then who can stand against us? God is sending his angels of protection around you. You have a guardian angel. 
For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. Psalms 34 verse 7 Every counsel the enemy has taken will come to nothing. God's angel will guard and defend you in Jesus' name. Through God we shall do valiantly. For he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Give us aid against the enemy, for the help of man is worthless. The evil one cannot touch you because God is with you. God will give you help against the enemy. God's word says, But he will crush every enemy, shattering their strength. He will make heads rule, for they refuse to repent of their stubborn, sinful ways. I hear the Lord God saying to all the enemies of his people, You will better come out of your hiding places. All of you who are doing your best to stay far away from me. Don't you know there is no place to hide? For my people will be the conquerors. They will soon have you under their feet. They will crush you until there is nothing left. The enemy will not get the better of you. The enemy cannot oppress you because God is with you. God is exposing your enemies. They cannot hide again. There is nothing hidden that will not be exposed. God is watching all the moves of your enemies. God will disorient them. You are more than a conqueror. God will put your enemies under your feet. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. God will not allow the devil to destroy you. He will rise and defend you. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up the standard against him. Psalms 121 verse 7 to 8 says, The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Hear me, my God, as I voice my complaint. Protect my life from the threat of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the plots of evildoers. They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim cruel words like deadly arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent. They shoot suddenly without fear. They encourage each other to do evil and plan how to set their traps in secret. Who will ever notice, they ask. They plot injustice and say, we have devised a perfect plan. Surely the human mind and heart are cunning, but God himself will shoot them with his arrows, suddenly striking them down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. All who see them will shake their heads in scorn. The wishes of your enemies are that you never rise. But no matter how they try, God will lift your head high above them. Your enemies will always be at the sole of your feet. The blessings of God that says you will be above only and not beneath is your portion. Your enemies can do anything they want. But all their efforts against you will be an exercise in futility. You know that moment someone is wishing for your downfall, and the moments just change, and they now became the people who fell. The psalmist said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, My enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. Psalms 27 verse 1 to 3 Anytime your enemies try to cast darkness on your path so that you can stumble, God gives light. They hold the dark for you to fall in. God has covered it. The agenda has been exposed and you have escaped from their hands. God is the one enlightening your power and saving you from their evil plot. They want to weaken you, but God is there to strengthen you, so their wishes cannot come to pass. 
They want to eat your flesh. They want to frustrate your efforts. But they will not succeed. My enemies and foes shall stumble and fall. Your enemies shall stumble and fall. Though your enemies gather themselves against you, do not be afraid of them, because God is with you. Though they war against you, be confident of victory from the Lord. I pray that may God give you victory in Jesus' name. Amen.